Hello, everybody. This is Rabbi Gershom Francis, and you're listening to Teiras HaArizal. Here we'll talk about the Kavanes of the Arizal for Chil, Shabbos, and Yomim Tevim. This shir is dedicated in the memory of my father, Rabbi Shol Menachem Mendel ben Avraham Olav HaSholem. You can now dedicate a shir in the honor of a loved one by supporting the shir on Spotify. We hope you enjoy. L'shem Yichud, Kudshabrichu, Ushchinte. Let's do a quick recap of the Kavanis of Surah Sa'imer. And we'll begin this shir by saying that there's a klal in the hands of Chachme Akabala. The klal is, based on the Perki Yavis, Da me'ayin ba'asa ula'an ata helech. Know from where you came and know where you're going. And Api Kabbalah, this means that you need to know in your Kavana where a hashpoa is coming from and where it is going. You need to know where the hashpa is coming from and where the hashpa is going. So usually in our case, the hashpois are coming from Yisrael Saba, Utsvuna, Abba, and Ima, and that's Nimshech to Chachma and Bina of Zer Anbin. That's the idea of Da Ma'ayin Basa Ola'an Ata Heilech. You need to know this. If you recall, Reb Mordechai Sharabi Zechreina Levracha gave a Meridika Remez on our job of being Metaki Nesfiris. It was based on the Pasuk, Ner Havaya Nishmas Adam. And Reb Mordechai Sharabi explained that Ner is Nefesh Viruach, meaning the lower half of Partsufim, the Vak of Partsufim. Ner Havaya, the Vak of Partsufim, was Nitaken through HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Nishmas Adam. However, the Chabad of Partsufim needs to be drawn down through us. Nishmas Adam. Ner Havaya Nishmas Adam. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Metakein Vak. It's our job to bring down Gar Mochen to Zer Anpin till Mashiach comes. So, getting into Sresa Eimer, we have in mind here that Bnei Yisrael was stuck in the depths of Tuma, and in order for HaKadosh Baruch Hu to redeem Bnei Yisrael, HaKadosh Baruch Hu made a miracle. He made our source of Hatzlacha, our source of Bracha, Zer Anpin, have all levels of Mochen at one shot. All levels of Mochen at one shot. Now, when Zer Anpin has all levels of Mochen, you know that there's a Geula for Klal Yisrael. There's a Geula for Bnei Yisrael. That's why it's so important for Zer Anpin to have all the Dargis of Mochen. So, in order to redeem Bnei Yisrael from Mitzrayim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu drew down to Zer Anpin all the levels of Mochen. This occurs every year. After the Seder, all of this Mochen vanishes, and it needs to be drawn down by a natural process, stage by stage. And hence, that's the Sfirasa Eimer. Hamshach HaSamoch and Darga by Darga is Merumiz within the Kavones of Sfirasa Eimer. Now, when Zer Anpin loses its Mochen, what happens? It becomes like a uber b'mei ima. It comes like a, like a baby within its mother's stomach. Bina is ima. So Zer Anpin, when it loses all its mochen, it becomes, within Bina, Gimel Goy Gimel, three within three, meaning the Chabad is Nistalik, and the only thing that's left is Chagas and Nihi. But even Chagas and Nihi, which is the primary spheres of Zer Anpin, Chagas and Nihi are within each other, meaning Chagas is within Nihi. And so because of this, it's our job to draw mochen down to Zer Anpin, in order for Zer Anpin could grow from being Gimel Goy Gimel, three within three, to having Chabad Chagas and Nihi. If we would visualize this, we need to know that the Omer is the process of Chabad Chagtam. Chabad Chagtam. And what's Chabad Chagtam? Chabad Chagtam stands for Chachma Bina Das, which is Chasadim and Gvuras, Chesed Gvura Tiferes Malchus. That is the order of the Shavuos of the Omer. Chabad Chagtam. Chachma Bina Das, Chasadim and Gvuras, Chesed Gvura Tiferes Malchus. Chabad Chagtam. We need to draw this Mochen into Chabad Chagtam, which every week there's another Sphira. So the first week is Chachma, next Bina, then Das Chasadim, Das Gvuras, then Chesed Gvura, Tiferes, and Malchus. And not only that, but within each of the Chabad Chagtam is Chabad Chagtam. 
In other words, if we were to visualize the drawing down of Mochin, it would consist of drawing down another level of Mochin into Zer Anpin every night, and where within Zer Anpin? Into the spheroids of Chabad Chagtam. So that would be the first week, the Chabad Chagtam of Chachma, the Chabad Chagtam of Bina, the Chabad Chagtam of Das Chasadim, Chabad Chagtam of Das Gevurais, Chabad Chagtam of Chesed, Chabad Chagtam of Gevura, Chabad Chagtam of Tiferes and Malchus. So basically what happens is, is that every night is composed of seven Hamshachis for the Chabad Chagtam of that night. So for example, every night of the first week of the Sviras Omer, all the levels of Mochen are drawn down for Chabad Chagtam of Chachma. Then week two, all the levels of Mochen are drawn down for the Chabad Chagtam of Bina. And then next week, Das Chasadim, Das Gevuris, then Chasad, then Gevura, Tiferes, and then Malchus. Those are the seven weeks of the Omer. Every week, a different sphere of Chabad Chagtam, and every night, a different level of Mochen that enters every night, seven times each night. That's why it's a sevenfold Hamshacha, which is the Chabad Chagtam of Chabad Chagtam. That's why every Mochen that enters every night enters into seven different places, which is the Chabad Chagtam every single night for seven weeks. Now, where does this mochen come from? My ayin basa. There are two parts of him. Yisrael Saba and Tevuna. Yisrael Saba and Tevuna are called Yashsut. That's their nickname. Above this is another two parts of him, which is Abba and Ima Ila. Now every part of has katnus and gadlus. The katnus of the parts of is connected the area of Chagas and Nihi. The gadlus area of the parts of is the gar, meaning the Gimel Rishonis, the Chabad of the parts of. The same is with Abba and Ima. The Chagas and Nehi of Abba and Ima is Katnus Sheni, whereas the Gar, the Chabad of Abba and Ima, is the Godless Sheni of the Partsufim of Abba and Ima. So both Yisrael, Saba, and Tevuna have in it Katnus and Godless. That's where the Hashpa is coming from. So when you want to know where the Hashpa is coming from, then, so if it's a night of Katnus Rishon, you look, you look at the Chagas and Nihi of Yisrael Saba and Tevuna. If it's a night of Godless Rishon, you look at the Gar of Yisrael Saba and Tevuna. If it's a night where the Hamshacha is of Katnus Sheni, you look at the Chagas and Nihi of Abba and Ima. If it's a night of Godless Sheni, you look at the Chabad of Abba and Ima. And in general, you should... And in general, you could have another key in your pocket here, which is that on the fifth and third night, the Hamshacha is always from Katnus HaMochen. And on all other days, the Hamshacha is Gadlus HaMochen. What are the Shemais that enters their Anpin from Abba and Ima and Yashsut? So for Yashsut, which is Katnus Rishon and Gadlus Rishon, Katnus Rishon is Shemos of Elohim. Gadlus Rishon is Shemos of Av Sag Ma'am Ban. Katnus Sheni is the Chilufe Elikim, which is Agdetam and Emgal. Gadlus Sheni is always the Shemus of Havaya, Av, Sag, Ma, and Ben. You see, it's all about Mochin. It's all about Hamshacha Samochin. Through Yisrael, Saba, and Tevuna, and Abba, and Ima, Ila. And these have Shemus, which are Nimshech, in Tezer Anpin. So you see, it's all about Hamshacha Samochin. Naturally, when we think about bringing down bracha, al pikabala, this is mochen. When there's mochen, there's bracha. Mochen of Zer Anpin is from Yashsut and from Abba and Ima Ilah. So, Ula'an Ata Hoylech, where is this Hamshacha going? So, it's important to keep in mind this next key, and that is that when the Hamshacha comes down into Zer Anpin, you look at where the Hamshacha is going. If the Hamshacha is going to the parts of Abina de Zer Anpin, so you know that the Hamshacha is always from Yashsut. Because Yashsut is drawn into the parts of Abina, Bina de Zer Anpin. First, Chagas and Nihi, within Bina de Zer Anpin, and then Gar, which is Godless, Godless of Yisrael Saba Tvuna, Godless of Yashsut which is the Gar of Yashtut, and that's Nimshech afterwards to parts of Bina. This causes their Anpin to grow to the Darga of Yashtut. 
And then, if the Hamshacha is to Chachma de Zer Anpin, so Chachma de Zer Anpin always receives its Hamshacha from Abba and Ima. So this being the case, Mochin is Nimshech from Abba and Ima to Chachma. Chagas and Nihi first, which is the levels of Katnus HaMochin, and then the Gor of Abba and Ima, which is Gadlus Sheni. And through that, Zer Anpin ascends and goes to the full Darga of Abba and Ima. You might be able to understand now why we're not counting Arach Anpin, which is Keser, because the Keser of Zer Anpin is Nimshech by Shavuos, and that has to do with Arach Anpin. Another key that we need to take home in our pockets is this. The pattern of Amshach HaSamochin is, the first night is always Godless Rishon of Yisrael Saba, Shema Savavaya. The second night is Godless Rishon, Shema of Tivuna. The second night is Godless Rishon de Ima, Shema of Havaya, that is Nimshach from where? From Tivuna. The third night is Katnus Sheni of Abba and Ima at the same night. So this shame is shame Akdatam for Chachma and shame Emgal for Bina. The fourth night is Gadlus Sheni of Ima. Gadlus Sheni of Ima. That's Amshacha from Ema Ila. Shame is of Havaya. And then the fifth night is Katnus Risha in the Abba and Ima. And that is shame of Elikim. Katnus Risha in of Abba and Ima is just simple shame of Elikim. The sixth night is a Rishima of Gadlus Sheni of Abba, which is Shemes of Havaya. The seventh night is the Etzem of Gadlus Sheni, which is a Hamshacha from Abba, again Shemes of Havaya. The reason why the Hamshachas from Abba come in two different stages, which is a Rishima and then Etzem, is because the Ha'ara, which comes from Abba Yilah, is too powerful and can't come at once. And finally, as we mentioned in previous Shurim, the spheres of Zer Anpin have a pattern, and this pattern also has the Indian of Dichoi, pushing down the Rishimo from Sphira to Sphira. The first week we're Mam Chachma. We push the Rishima that is there down to Chesed. The second week is Bina, and we push the Rishima there to Gvura. The third week is Chesedim of Das, and this Rishima is pushed to Tiferes. The fourth week, Gvura of Das, and the Rishima is pushed to Tiferes. The fifth week is Chachma to Chesed, and the Rishima is pushed to Natsach. The sixth week is Bina to Gvura, and the Rishimo is pushed to Hoid. The seventh week is Chsodim of Das to Tiferes, and the Gvuras of Das to Machus, while the Rishimo is pushed down in this way. The Chsodim go to Yisoid, and the Gvuras go to Malchus of Zer Anpin. After this Zer Anpin is complete in Mochen for all its Bechinas, except for which ones? Except for Kasser and Netzach Hoid and Yisoid. Kasser and Netzach Hoid and Yisoid. Shavuos is the Indian of Hachtara. That's when the Hamshacha of Ksarim comes down. And then also the Luchos is the Indian of Netzach and Hoid.